Riga, Latvia. An Eastern European city renowned for its beautiful Art Nouveau architecture and rich cultural heritage. It's the perfect place for a relaxing weekend break. However, over the past few years, Riga started attracting a very different type of tourist in search for a very different type of relaxation. As a Latvian, you hear a lot about sex tourism, but don't know exactly what it's all about. My friend Lena and I armed ourselves with a camera and took to the streets of Riga to find out the truth. Houses uh, stuck the business in Riga started uh, when the first uh, was when there was this uh, first uh, cheap flights to Riga just opened those new lines and uh, this time Riga was uh, not very rich it, uh, people was uh, more poor and uh, most of girls were thinking that uh, foreign people are very rich and nice and everywhere is better than here in Latvia. And uh, there was an office, I don't know who was the manager, Latvian or English, and there was an office and big queue and there was a sitting manager and people was coming in and he, and he said, okay, you pay this amount of money, you got tickets to Riga, you go, you go to Riga to any club, you see any girl you like, you buy your one drink or two drink and you can get her for a night. Sex tourism is related to Latvia, pateicoties mūsu lētajam alkoholam. Zemojam dzīves līmenim, kurš ir krietni zemāks nekā pārējās attīstītajās Eiropas valstīs. Un, jā, lētajām cenām pārsvarā. Lētajā meitenēm arī? Nu, nu, meitenes nav lētas, bet viņām patīk labi dzīvot. Un seksturisti ir spējīgi vismaz dažas dienas viņas palutināt. Ar labu ah, pilnīgi uz dienām iet, tas tā, tu, nu, kādā ziņā? Jā, ir dzirdēts, ir dzirdēts, ka satiek klubā cilvēku tajā pašā esenšalā, ar kuru pavada visu laiku, kamēr vien viņš ir Latvijā, tikmēr staigā pa veikaliem, restorāniem un atpūšās kopā. Do you think that Latvian girls are wary of foreign men? When they see a foreign man come up to them, do they sort of think, he's a sex tourist, I'm not going to talk to him? I think it depends on girls because I know a lot of girls who are against any tourists. Hi. Hi. What? But uh, also we have a lot of girls uh, who I know the special they go to the old town because they expect to meet of uh, foreign people and uh, they are ready to talk, to have drinks, uh, to dance, uh, maybe kisses. And uh, sure, there is some persons of girls who are ready to offer more for these guys. What's your name? Lina. Where are you from? From Latvia. Uh, I'm Alessandro. Where are you nice from? Nice to meet you. Italy. Italy. Nice to meet you. Some girls who are open for any conversation, they probably will look at you and uh, see what kind of clothes you wear and what kind of drinks you buy here. <laughs> And uh, what do you do? Hi. Ciao. How are you? Roberto. Hi, Roberto and Katrina. Very beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> then they see the first girl on the street, and she is wearing a short skirt, and they are all screaming, laughing, and they are trying to wave her and get her attention. You are very beautiful. <laughs> and what do you do tonight? Dance? Dance? Disco, no, but no. somewhere else. What? Somewhere else. I don't know yet. Ah, uh, Ciao. <laughs> Love it. Woo, cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, where are? And, uh, Hello? Where are you from? Sorry? Is this, what where are you is from? Um, I'm from here, uh, but I live in England. Camera, yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Where, where are you going tonight? You go to what disco? <laughs> What? How old are you? 20 years. Woo, hello. Hello. Oh, yes. Then what you will do tomorrow night? Tonight what? In, in Where are you going? To yeah, yeah, tonight? we are, we are. Tonight? Uh, oh, push, yes. push. Uh, push. Push, you going to push. push? Push. Oh, okay. Going to push? I'll push I you. I haven't on. been there yet. What? No, I, I haven't, haven't been, been there, there but ah, uh, yeah. as much as I have heard, it is a nice, nice place. Ah, good. Well, we, we might see you guys around. 
Have a good yeah, night. I, I kiss uh, her. You kiss her. Bye. Kādas valsts pārstāvi viņi pārsvarā ir? Pārsvarā ir vāciešu, zviedri, sūdi kaut kādi. Un kā ir arī, arī tāļiem, piemēram? Arī tāļiem, arī tāļiem, liekas, ko nebija maksāt. Tieši par naktīm meklēt, teiksim, meitenes, kurā tev masāžu dabūt, eiro diskoru, kaut kādos skumbūs. Un tā arī konkrēti jautā? Jā, tā ir pienāk jautā, vai kaut kur var, teiksim, meitenes dabūt, kā viņi saka, pusīs un tā tālāk. Jā. Yeah. Tad mēs jūs transportējam šitādus atstājuši šitām vietām. You couldn't take two steps from Riga's old town without passing a club or a bar. It seemed like a real haven for party goers. As the sun set, Riga's cobbled streets started filling up, with quite a few large groups of western-looking men in the crowd. Were they really all sex tourists? Riga is full of bars, full of birds and full of booze. This is for all the lads out there. All the girls are ridiculous. If I see it, we had a game right now. We lost two guys, which is a local girl. So uh, uh, now we uh, left some guys of our group. So uh, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Have you got anything to say about sex tourism and stuff? You're not sex tourist. Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> 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 right, it's a lovely place. You can get an hour's interview with it. Are you part of this? No, but she's so, a so, 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 I need to take the glasses off this. Can, I just, can I just say, last night Ed was great. I, uh, I'm a massive, massive Eastern European guy. And he fucking loved every minute of it. And that's the truth. There was a Latvian girl. Can you tell the story? And a girl. She would she squeezed nipples off. Yeah. He's missing. Now you have to film him. Because he was the one who was squeezed. She twisted my nipples counterclockwise and clockwise and counterclockwise back again. Three times. <laughs> was that all in the rain? Well, I was crying. Crying out loud. So I told her to stop and he, those three boys just were laughing out loud. I was still crying like a baby, like a fucking baby. It is tas prikols par latviešu meitenēm, ka viegli dabūjamas un ka nāk ir tāda lieta, ka latviešu meitenes arī Jā, tā, tā, īstenībā es netiešu, ka latviešu meitenes tieši latviešu meitenes, bet tās ir a piejaukum tas ir nu krievu krievu tautijas meitenes. Īsmā tiešām ir bijis ir bijis gadījumi to, ka krievu tautijas meitenes nāk klāt un prasa kas ko kā, apmēram, ja. Un kāpēc klāt, nu, precīzāk Rīgu, ja. Sasbus sekstūrismu pilsēta. Tikai tāpēc, ka lat, nu nevis latviešu, bet nu slāvu meitenes piesienās pie turistiem un piedāvās seks pakalpojumus. Un pie tām vēl nelegāli. So, how much of the sex industry is actually legal? Even strip clubs are legal, yes, because here all strip clubs are named the night clubs. But uh, I know some uh, strip clubs where you can get it. And I also know about the other companies who offer it, I know it for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like uh, not official, yes, you only can get a private dance, yes. But when a girl goes with a man in the private room, yes, no one controls them. And the manager sometimes says to me that, like, uh, it's my business and I want to have it clean, but I cannot control girls and I know, I don't know who, which girl, but I know that some girls they're doing, they call it, uh, Erotic massages, mm -hmm. yes, but it's uh, one type of prostitution actually. Oh, right, so when they say erotic massage, is it something wrong? Uh, uh, I think erotic massage uh, offered in Riga, it's uh, uh, 90% it's uh, prostitution. So do you think the government schemes to stop sex tourism have helped at all, or is it exactly the same? Uh, I know that there was... Uh, Mm, made something, yes, to stop the sex tourism. For example, uh, I remember that they, uh, there was a advertising in Riga airport, and when you go to airport just from plane, you see a lot of naked girls on the walls. And then they stopped it, but um, as far as I remember, now we have <laughs> a lot of girls again. Tas vienkārši ir apklusas tāpēc, ka Rīgā ir nepieciešams papildus finansējums no turistiem, papildus nauda, kuru viņi arī var atvest, tāpēc tas visi ir noklusināts tagad. 
nezinu, liekas, tas ir beidzēģīgi, viņš pastāvēs tā patās. Varbūt, kad ko gribu un aizliegu, un vienkārši tas būs nelegāli. Ja legalizētu, Latvija ekonomika pats vēl tūs uzreiz tādā uzstākļu. Es pieņemsim, es, pat, es uzskatu, ka nu, tas nemaz nav tik slikti, nu, ekonomikai. Ja, 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 meitenes ir gatavs to darīt, neviens jau viņus nespiež tā, jo nav, ka tur ar varu kāds tiek spiests. Ja. Ja, viņš to gatavs darīt, ja tie cilvēki brauc, izklaidējās, tērē naudu, atstāja, atstāja Latvijā to naudu, tu kāpēc nē? Lai viņš, lai viņš to dara. Perhaps there was a darker side of sex tourism that we hadn't discovered, but to us, it looked like nothing but harmless school disco between the local girls and western men. All the locals are unanimous on one thing, sex tourism being good for Latvia's economy. It seemed like it was just a sleepy former Soviet state's way of breaking out into the world.